Welcome to the Insurance Brokers Podcast, Helpful Hints. Here we break down the best, most informative bits of our full-length interviews. One of the things you mentioned just a moment ago about the sort of distressed business in the market, the effect of that will be huge, particularly I'd imagine on the SME market in terms of having to cut cover or you know, there'll be an increase in fraud, that kind of thing. What what, yeah. what, what do you see there? Yeah, well, I, I think the, you know, this is this is where I have great confidence in in brokers, uh, and you know, and my own members, MGAs, in terms of working together to ensure that managing both price and cover to ensure that those end customers are still adequately covered, and and I think brokers are fantastic at doing that. You know, especially those who have a very sort of good depth and breadth sort of knowledge of their client, you know, they'll, they'll act as sort of professional advisors to their clients in terms of the program design, you know, and ensure that, you know, if there is a need to try and let's call it sort of reduced insurance spend, that they'll do that in a very professional way that that insurance spend may be more manageable, certainly with a, with a recession and post pandemic, but not hopefully to the extent that it leaves them exposed in regard to sort of coverage you know it's a it's a very very tricky sort of piece of work and you have to navigate that but if you if you do know your customers as you should do and i'm confident you know the majority of uk brokers do that then then that will be sort of hopefully end up as a positive conversation and and mgas through innovation product innovation uh, again with their sort of knowledge technical knowledge to work with their broker distribution will be able to insist in those conversations I think it sort of opens the door more widely to have the wider risk management conversation where you can really give some practical advice and tools and help. And I know we've talked about a risk management product that is, you know, quite widely used within the insurance industry, which has incredible benefit to an SME market who, who, who for risk management uh, for them, risk management isn't something that's top priority or, or even, uh, really understood properly so I think that the door's wide open for brokers and MGAs to bring into this space a bit more uh, support for the end client I, I think you're right I think that it, it's it, it's all part of the package of of potential risk risk preventative measures you know and you know a lot of underwriting now is about risk prevention as opposed to post sort of claim sort of uh, addressing problems post claim you know, it's all about sort of stopping something happening as opposed to addressing it after it's happened. Uh, and I think that's where risk management sort of packages are sort of absolutely crucial, aligned obviously with the broker's expertise in terms of doing that. Mm. You know, and, and that's quite a shift actually sort of, you know, a long time ago when I was underwriting when, it, when you know, there wasn't so much about risk prevention. It was, oh, we've had a claim, you know, what can we do now to stop it happening again? when now we don't want it to happen at all and and what can we do to sort of stop it happening and I think that's uh, uh that's that's quite a, been a, a significant shift from an underwriting perspective over the last sort of 10 years. 